Hello and welcome to Indian Writers Forum. I am glad to be joined today by Najwan Darvish, a young Palestinian poet who is here as part of VAK, the Asian Literary Biennale happening in Delhi. Uh, hi Najwan. Hi. Really happy to have you here. Uh, I would uh, like to ask you a few questions around um, specifics of writing and identity uh, and let's see how this conversation goes. Okay. Uh, I would first uh, like to understand, uh, as a young Palestinian poet... I'm not so young, by the way. <laughs> and you keep repeating young, young, young. Right. I wish I am young. Right. right. Uh, so, do you see a difference or uh, do is it is it fair to say that there is a certain kind of uh, stylistic difference in terms of the questions that uh, the writers of your generation are asking as compared to the writers from before? Uh, is there a place of, um, let's say, uh, maybe anger, maybe being tired of the political processes that have been thrust upon Palestinians all these years? Do these play a part in, in how the stylistics of the writing emerge? I'm not sure that it's the issue of generations and I don't, I, I don't know who's my generation. Uh, in writing, it's quite uh, difficult to tell in some um, in some cases, it would be clear, the generation is clear. In my case, I don't know who's my generation. I also belong to the older generations of Palestinian writing. I share a lot of those with them. I belong to um, several dead generations of Arab writers uh, till the times of pre-Islam. I think I am uh, from the generation of uh, pre-Islamic poets. These are the ones who are... I'm busy more in my head Thanks. from being busy of uh, of my fellow dear colleagues. Great. That's interesting to hear. Um, so that brings me to something that I observed in some of your uh, writings. Um, there are several references to, to various um, historical and religious cultures that have shaped Palestine. Uh, and you were talking yourself about how you relate more to writers of, from ages even before Islam. So, uh, what is this uh, journey of a, of a chronological nature that, uh, that you find yourself uh, speaking to and uh, what place does that hold in your writing? I thought uh, of the poet, I always think of the work of the poet uh, as a work of historian. Uh, poets usually work on history. Uh, neglected histories, uh, untold histories, uh, uh, oppressed histories. This is the work of a poet, to work on those. So, from here, uh, we can say that the work of the poet is a, is a political work, because this is what historian is doing. Uh, the complexity of, uh, of uh, I wouldn't say, complexity for me is richness. I am always using complexity in a, in a positive uh, uh, meaning. Uh, of the Palestinian identity, Palestine contains a lot of identities. Historically, it's a... Uh, and these identities are necessary to, uh, to face with them the colonial uh, Israeli Zionist project in Palestine, which is a project uh, uh, against uh, uh, complexity and against the richness of the identity. You know, usually colonial uh, projects are not really, uh, 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 or they are always uh, misworking on the identities of the place. They want to shatter the identities and use them for colonial purposes. Yeah, absolutely. I would actually ask, I would diverge from there a bit to, from, uh, to the context that um, um, of, of Palestinian writers as such. Uh, again, I, f I would like to understand if, I mean, of course, I'm not going to ask uh, the difference or the need for the political and the literature. It's, it's very obvious. We don't have to, you know, even uh, go there. But is there some, because uh, creative work requires and has an individual nature. There is something individual to every writer, every filmmaker, every poet. But there are also um, 
th but they also speak to society like you're saying is is complex and unique and when it comes to palestine it's it's in everyday reality which is which is which is um uh, extremely uh, difficult to deal with so do you feel that that context makes any specific demands on the individual how does the individual and the collective work together in the whole history of writing uh, you would find this dialect between the collective and uh, the individual. I don't see uh, any problem in that. Uh, I am not uh, tired from the collective and uh, I don't miss the individual. Uh, I think my writing is very individual uh, and very personal. Uh, I consider all what I am writing is a kind of uh, autobiography. My poems somehow autobiographical uh, poems. But the collective is there. You would speak the collective if you would speak your inner self. Hmm. This is how I deal with it. Um, I am not an activist. I am not a, uh, an activist with agenda. Uh, I am a poet. But in the same time, I have a political stand, which is quite different between having a political stand or having activism. Of course, I respect activists very much. I wish I could be one of them. Uh, I am quite lazy, I sleep much, uh, I have terrible sleeping hours. Uh, even when there is demonstration, I would come late to the demonstration. I wouldn't come on, on time. Even people should come before the demonstration to prepare. I would always come the last one to the demonstration. So my friends lost hope in me and they think it doesn't work well in demonstrations. So, uh, but in the same time, any respectable poet can't uh, give his back to the reality. You can't say, oh, I am a poet. I am not uh, uh, really uh, interested in politics. This is the worst kind of political poets who are not interested in, uh, yeah. in, in, in politics. Uh, when I say politics, I mean lives of people. This yeah. is what politics for me. Yeah. I am political because I care for the life of others. Yeah. This is and the future of others and the problems of others yeah. in my country and in the world. Because nowadays, we, uh, we can't just uh, think of the troubles of our country. Mm. Our countries, because uh, troubles, uh, uh, um, politics became uh, international. Mm. Now, nowadays, we are sitting in India and we are talking about Palestine. You know, recently, what's uh, the, the so-called Israeli-Indian relation, what it, what it about? Politically, what, what does it mean? It does mean that is a kind of uh, uh, company directed by gangsters. I see the Israeli politicians as gangsters. They call themselves ministers and prime ministers. For me, these are small fascist gangsters. These are thinking that they can adjust a big country like India and put it in the small colonial agenda of Israel. They think that they can give their expired weapons to mm. India. Mm. They are giving India expired weapons, mm. selling India expired weapons and show it as like they are making favor to India, which India doesn't need their, doesn't need their expired weapons. Mm. So when you look at things, uh, the, the, the future of, of people is collective. We can't uh, seek uh, uh, neither freedom, neither justice, neither so social justice on a national level. These are international uh, uh, questions and international demands. We can't solve them on a, on a, on a separate level. Absolutely. Um, and perhaps it's, 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 it's not just today, for a long time for India, um, the support for Palestine was a non-negotiable. It mm. came from a colonial history. So decolonization meant an immediate solidarity to Palestine. And that's what we are seeing change today. Uh, mm. Not only at the level of government, which is very obvious with weapons and, and technologies and trade agreements, but also at a cultural level. And this is mm. very obviously a part of Israel's agenda. Its brand Israel project is to actually um, uh, enter into cultural spaces. Uh, and you've also pointed that out as it's been happening around here. But uh, in this context, we have a history that we have 
uh, built in India and we, which we rely on when we talk about our solidarity to Palestine. But what is the future of this solidarity that you see? What is it that you Look, would... I would say two things. First, I don't believe much in solidarity. I think when we stand for a cause, we are standing for ourselves. Uh, when I am standing with India, it's because how I see myself as an Arab or as a Palestinian. It's not solidarity. Solidarity is to care also about yourself, who you are, who you want to be. Do you want to be a free country which stands for the freedom of others, or you want to be a slave country and uh, within the agenda of small fascist colonial powers? So this is the question now, who we are, what we want to be. I don't think uh, it's about solidarity. Great. Uh, thanks, Najwan. I won't take uh, more of your time. Thanks a lot for having this conversation. And a very urgent one, I would say, uh, today, uh, given the context in India today, politically. And also, uh, it's a question of seeing oneself when, when one talks about Palestine, going beyond that kind of solidarity. Uh, thank you, Apurva. Thanks. I feel the same. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to our social media and YouTube channels. Thank you.